today it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm we're gonna spend a few minutes talking a little bit about HTTP authentication and what to look out for um, this kind of spills a little bit into the way um, your applications authenticate if they're web-based and it touches a little bit on security so hey that's the way it goes uh, let's jump right into it so we're basically we have a trace of uh, me logging into a device using HTTP and I'm using it's called the basic authentication which is the most simple uh, and some will argue the least secure of all authentications uh, basically uh, when you use basic authentication your password uh, username and password are combined in a string so it's username colon password if you've never seen it before and the resulting string gets encoded using RFC 2045 which is a MIME variant of base 64 there you go uh, basically when you do this and, and this is where Wireshark comes in uh, Wireshark actually understands that encoding and it'll decode it for you on the fly which is kind of cool you don't have to add anything you don't have to download anything you don't have to do anything like that so how do we find this so here's a trace 683 packets hopefully I don't have to go through every single one uh, what you can do simply is uh, find packet so we'll go to edit find packet there you go and if you type the word credential enter now let me just stop there for one second so we're looking for the word credential and we search for a string and we're searching in the packet details so when you do that it jumps down here and it says credentials admin colon root so again the the syntax is quite simple it's username colon password now you'll say wow well, so it was how do we know if that was really encrypted well let me show you something if I come over here I'll just click on connection keep alive and you'll see down below in the uh, the packet bytes uh, pane you'll see here it says all this hexadecimal stuff and there's the ASCII stuff connection keep alive if I go to the next one refer HTTP you'll see refer HTTP and then authorization and you'll see the authorization when I click on credentials nothing's highlighted because it's not in the packet Do you understand so this is in the packet and this is being decoded to represent this and there you go so if you want to find out real quickly if your applications are using basic authentication just simply again control F or edit find packet credentials string here I'll do that I'll show you again one last time so find packet string credentials packet details and hit find and off it goes and it finds it just make sure it's in the authorization credentials area make sure it's not some payload that it happens to have the word credentials like a login screen or something like that so there you go make your stuff more secure have a good day bye for now